What's up? My name is Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to set up SFTP using an SSH server, in my case, my Ubuntu server over here, and FileZilla Pro, though you can do this with normal FileZilla. I currently have key authentication set up, so I don't need to connect with my password, but you can use password authentication as well with FileZilla. All you'll need to know is your username, password, and of course, the IP address of your server. You won't need anything else. You won't need an FTP server or anything. This is the more secure version as FTP is made for file sharing rather than managing files on your server safely. So let's go ahead and connect. I'll start up FileZilla and Control S to open up I saved sites. Then I'll click new site in the bottom left, give it a name, and on the right hand side, we'll set up our server. The protocol in my case will be SFTP. I'll set up my host, which in my case is serve.techno.co, but it could be an IP address or anything like that. Port I'll leave as is, as I already have port 21 and 22 open, whichever one SSH is on. And finally, login type, I'll change it from normal. If you're using an authenticated key, we can choose key file, otherwise enter your username and password here. If I do this, you'll see that when I try to connect, it won't work as I need to use a key. Could not connect to server. So let's set up the key authentication by choosing key file, entering my username, clicking browse next to key file, and choosing it from my SSH folder over here. The private key in my case doesn't have an extension, so I'll select it, click open, and you'll see that it needs to be converted. Click yes, enter the password for your SSH key, and we'll need to choose how to save it. I'll just call it Hertzner SFTP, and we should be able to connect to our server now. You'll need to enter your master password, if you have one, then the password of your key. And when we do, we're now connected to the server in the root directory over here, as this is the account that I've just logged into. So with that comes the end of this tutorial. You've now set up SFTP to your server without the need for an FTP or anything else like that. It's super simple, relatively slow in comparison to FTP. It sort of caps out around 10 megabytes, but it's very secure and more than fast enough for most use cases. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.